Hey, LCC family, Pastor Mike here. Hope you are doing well, having an awesome week, and we are ready to start our weekend. Uh, I am taping this Saturday morning and uh, just reflecting back on the last couple weeks with our church. I am super excited at the last two times that we have gotten together um, and just to talk and share and hear from you guys and you guys hear from me and, and other leaders in our church. And I'm just really excited about uh, the possibilities that I feel like God has for us. And I'm really excited to meet this Monday. And the reason I'm really excited to meet this Monday is um, kind of where we left off last week. Last week we talked from Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel chapter 37 is uh, the vision that Ezekiel had about the valley of dry bones. And God tells him to prophesy to the bones first. And so he prophesies to the bones and he prophesies to them and um, they, the bones come to life. And, and they, they're, they're gathered there together in the valley of the bones. Um, but there's no life in them. There's no breath in them. And so God says to Ezekiel a second time, he says, Now prophesy to the wind. And he prophesies to the wind. And the bones, uh, they, they, they receive life. The flesh, the tendons, it receives life. It receives breath. And at the end of what we read, at the end of verse 10, it said they became a vast army and we talked a little bit about the difference between just getting together and being people who are gathered together and, a di and, and and what an army looks like and as we were talking gary had this uh what i think was like a god moment a revelation like god just dropped something he said you know what i need prophecy i need to hear from god i need to hear what he's saying to me and for me that just clicked and and, and i so uh, connected with that and 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 it, and it got me it gave me a, a clear idea for this monday and um I, I just love the way that we're kind of doing this and and the way that god is shaping all this and i love how collaborative it is i love how engaged people are i love that all this stuff is just coming out of just just talking and, and sharing our hearts. And it's been really unique and really awesome. So for Monday, we're going to have a, a short teaching on prophecy, just so that we're all on the same page, just so that we're all kind of knowing what it is, knowing exactly what it is. Prophecy is no more than hearing from God. And, and so we're gonna do a teaching on that to make sure we're all on the same page. Then we're going to have some worship. And the reason I wanna do the teaching first and then the worship is because I feel like God has given us a few prophetic songs. Some of you have texted me some idea, like some songs that you've heard that seem to fit with where God has us. And, and so I have taken those and, and we're gonna have some worship time. And I feel like the songs that I'm gonna choose are like what God's speaking to me about right now and what he may be speaking to you. So we're gonna have some worship. And then after that, we're just gonna have some time to hear from you guys. On Monday, I asked you to take some time this week and hear from God. What is God saying to you? And then bring that prophecy, bring that, that word to our gathering. So it's Saturday morning, you got about two days. I really, really encourage you, find some time in the next 72 hours to just sit and listen. What is God saying to you? What is God saying to you about your personally? What's he saying to you about church? What's he saying to you? Because we want to hear from God in this. And so I encourage you to take some time, if you haven't already, to, to just listen. It doesn't have to be long. It could be 10, 15 minutes. And then you just share what God is saying to you. Maybe write it down a little bit so you don't forget. So Monday, 6.30 p.m. Very excited to see you guys. Really excited about where I think God's taking us and excited to be with you all. See you Monday, 6.30 p.m. Praying for you guys. I hope you're praying for me because we are all in this together.